Hi guys. Welcome to our new episode on B21 Radar. We hope all of you are fine and doing good. Let's start. It was a time when US Air Force released a white paper stating that it would need a new capability around 2037 to replace retiring bombers. The paper estimated that due to mishap attrition and other factors other than useful service life, the number of B-1 Lancer would not meet Air Force requirements. In this regard the Air Force conceded that a new bomber would be needed earlier when it updated its service life projections in November 2001. This paper anticipated a capability gap due to a strategic shift from nuclear deterrence to conventional bombing. The paper said the Air Force would need to begin its acquisition program early as possible. The paper's recommendations were adopted as U.S. Air Force policy by Under Secretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment Edward C. Aldridge Jr. Between 2004 and 2006, the U.S. Air Force Air Combat Command studied alternatives for a new bomber-type aircraft to augment the current bomber fleet which now consists of largely 1970s era airframes, with a goal of having a fully operational aircraft on the ramp by 2018. Some speculation suggested that the next generation bomber might be hypersonic and unmanned. On the other side, the 2006 Quadrennial Defense Review directed the Air Force to develop a new long-range precision strike capability by 2018. U.S. Air Force officials identified the new bomber as having top-end low observability characteristics with the ability to loiter for hours over the battlefield area and respond to threats as they appear. Vice Commander Major General David E. Clary summed it up by saying the new bomber would penetrate and persist. The deployment of cruise missiles was another issue for the new bomber. Here we would like to tell you that the B-52 is the only aircraft currently in the Air Force inventory allowed under Strategic Nuclear Arms Reduction Treaty to be armed with nuclear cruise missiles. Major consideration was paid to operation readiness and flexibility. In September 2007, Several Air Force generals stressed that it was still their plan to field the bomber by 2018. In order to meet the tight schedule, the Air Force would initially pursue a basic model then improves its capabilities subsequently. On 25 January 2008, Boeing and Lockheed Martin announced an agreement to embark on a joint effort to develop a new U.S. Air Force strategic bomber with plans for it to be in service by 2018. This collaborative effort for a long-range strike program included work in advanced sensors and future electronic warfare solutions, including advancements in network-enabled battle management, command and control, and virtual warfare simulation and experimentation. In 2009 Air Force was expected to announce its precise requirements for a new bomber that would be operating by 2018. In April 2009, Defense Secretary Gates announced a delay in the new generation bomber project that would push it past the 2018. This was caused not only by budget considerations, but also by nuclear arms treaty considerations. And on the 19th of May 2009, Air Force Chief of Staff General Norton Schwartz said that the Air Force's focus in the 2010 budget was on long-range strike, not next-generation bomber, and will push for this in the QDR. In June 2009, the two teams working on NGB proposals were told to close up shop, and NGB program was cancelled. The cancellation of the program NGB gave birth to a new acquisition program, Long Range Strike Bomber. We would like to tell you that the Long Range Strike Bomber is a development and acquisition program to develop a long range strategic bomber for the United States Air Force and it is intended to be a heavy payload stealth aircraft capable of delivering thermonuclear weapons. In July 2014, a request for proposal to develop the aircraft was issued. The Air Force plans to procure at least 100 of the LRSB aircraft at a cost of an estimated $550 million each, with potentially as many as 200 units being considered to enter service eventually. Due to the sensitive nature much about the project is highly classified, and little information is available to the public. As of late 2019, it was known that construction of the aircraft had commenced. And as a result, US Air Force got Northrop Grumman B-21 radar. 
As per sources, it is the world's first 6th gen warplane that can penetrate any toughest defenses anywhere in the world. The Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is an American strategic bomber under development for the United States Air Force by Northrop Grumman. As part of the Long Range Strike Bomber Program. It is going to be a long-range stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the US Air Force, and also it will be able to deliver conventional and thermonuclear weapons. Many aspects of the B-21 program are highly classified. The program is designated as a special access program. The Congressional Research Service noted in 2021 that the B-21's technical details and specifications, such as speed, enabling systems, size, required stealth, structure, number, and type of engines, projected weapons, and onboard sensors remain classified. Although some information about various other aspects of the program have been made public since 2015. The first photos of the aircraft were released on December 2, 2022, during a rollout ceremony at Northrop Grumman's production facilities in Palmdale, California. The B-21 Raider is named in honor of the historic Doolittle Raiders, U.S. Army and Air Force men, who are known for their surprise attack against Japan during World War II on April 18, 1942, which forced the Japanese to recall combat forces for home defense and boosted morale among Americans and U.S. allies abroad. The designation B-21 recognizes the Raider as the first bomber of the 21st century. As per media reports, Air Force wanted the bomber to function as an intelligence collection platform, battle manager, and interceptor aircraft along with bomber. The B-21 Raider will be a dual-capable penetrating strike stealth bomber capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear munitions. The B-21 will form the backbone of the future Air Force bomber force consisting of B-21s and B-52s. Designed to operate in tomorrow's high-end threat environment, the B-21 will play a critical role in ensuring America's enduring air power capability. China's thousands of DF-series missiles have every major US base in range and will be the first ones to be taken out in case of a full-scale war. With Kadena in Japan and Guam bombed out, the US can only watch helplessly as China surrounds and seizes Taiwan. If the US intervenes, the Chinese can comfortably keep fighting from the home turf and keep shooting down any American naval and air assets while taking some acceptable and anticipated level of material and personnel losses. If the People's Liberation Army rocket force missiles fail, the People's Liberation Army Navy and the People's Liberation Army Air Force have the numbers and technology to prevent US intervention while the rest of its military seizes Taiwan. This, therefore, makes the B-21 strategic stealth bomber, including the B-52s, the B-1 Lancer, and the B-2 Spirit, its leading edge in the war in the Western